Um, they made some adjustments in you know, uh, denying me and blitzing me. Um, I just got off the ball and you know, guys made plays. We just have to make shots. And um, I think the, the thing that really killed us tonight well, um, you know, was when we got stops and you know, they got those offensive rebounds and loose balls that, mm -hmm. that, uh, that kind of deflates you a little bit. It's just something that um, you know we always talk about, but tonight we just didn't come up with enough of it. How does your arm feel? Um, <laughs> it's a little sore. It's a little sore, but it's it's part of it. I mean, you know, I got to play through some things, and uh, it's well enough for me to play. The first when it first happened, it wasn't you know uh, well enough. I got kind of hit in a spot that I didn't want to get that you not that you don't want to get hit. In, so it's one of those things that I just had to be uh, cautious about, and uh, mainly just really able to dribble the ball um, with the arm more than anything. Cause I'm really not gonna shoot the ball too many times with my left hand. How, uh, how, how's the team holding up with all the adversity and now all the injuries? Um, so far, so good. I, it's just, you know, it's tough for us right now. And, you, you know, we all understand that. I mean, it's um, something that we have to stick together through and, and get out of uh, together. We're not going to do it with just one guy or, or a couple guys. It's going to have to be everybody. These are the dog days of the season. You know, it's, it's mid-February, a, a lot of games behind you, a lot of games ahead of you. Lot of people are banged up. How do you get through these type of games? And what would it mean to pull out a win or two before the break? Well, it's important to continue to play hard, and you know, I, I'm, I haven't looked at the tape, but I felt like we played hard, um, you know, for a good part of the game. I don't think we did it for 48 minutes, but for a good part of the game, we played hard and, and, and did some good things out there. Um, and even through the losses, we can take some positive things and, and build off of them um, for the next game. You guys were able to hold on um, to two points. You guys were two points in the half with them. Uh, this is a team that can score a lot of points. They're able, capable of hitting 100 any night. Um, what was it in the second half that you guys weren't able to transfer over that you guys were doing? Well, we still got stops. Like I said, we still got stops. We just didn't uh, get the loose balls. And, and, you know, we didn't make enough shots. Look at our shooting percentage. And, uh, I don't know what it was. I don't think it was very high. Uh, so. Um, you know, I mean, you know, we'll take the same shots and, you know, whoever made, made the shots and missed the shots, we'll take those shots because they're not bad shots for us. Uh, and one thing we have to do is, just, most importantly, is uh, try to come up with the loose balls and, and, and you know, try to block out better and get the offense, get those rebounds and not let them have an offensive rebound. So. How tough is it to guard Eric Bledsoe when he's drilling jumpers like that? Well, I didn't even guard him much, though. honestly. Each one had him most of the game, um, had him a little slow parts. Um, um, I was on Matt Barnes and uh, Willie Green most of the game, and sometimes even Grant Hill. So it was just, um, you know, for him, you know, he, he's, he's a young point guard who, uh, you know, everybody goes under on. And he shot the ball well tonight. So, um, you know, we kind of stuck to our game plan and, and um, did what we were supposed to do. He's, you know, uh, he made shots. What does it say just about this avalanche of injuries that Matt, there was a situation out there where you guys use a where Matt Barnes had to guard you, and you had to guard six foot seven Matt Barnes. Well, I think they put Matt on me um, because they felt like his length was wider than what he needed. His blood was still in the game. Um, that that wasn't. I don't think that was just bad hand playing. Um, like I said, I don't I, like each time he guarded you. You know, they're playing guards more tonight than I did. So. Um, you know, that's what the coach wanted, that's what we did. Um, you know, we did what we were supposed to do. And, you know, we played it right. And, you know, he, he made some shots. He got credit, you know. He made shots to take the ball out and try to go make yours. You mentioned some of those building blocks, I guess. What are those that you guys can maybe build on? Well, we, 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 have, we have, you know, the young guys playing. I mean, they're playing well. Mar Maurice has um, shown a lot, of, uh, a lot of his game lately. And, and you know, um, you know, whether he's making or missing shots, he's playing aggressive. You know, he's playing a lot more aggressive than he was early in the year. He's going to get more comfortable. I mean, uh, the other guys are, uh, you know, still trying to find their way. And, you know, it's going to, you know, it's still going to take time. These guys have to play and, and get experience. And, um, you know, you know, you can see the potential in all of them. I think they all have a great upside to them. Thanks, Jermaine. Thank you.